Hello, my name is Radish. Today we're going to talk about a colloidal gold generator. It's not an easy process. This process consists of high voltage and a little bit of knowledge in you know, physics, mechanical, and etc. If you're not experienced or you don't have any knowledge in electricity, do not try this. It is very dangerous. It involves high voltage. Now, basically, what we're doing is um, we're taking two gold electrodes. We're bringing it close, very, very close, with high voltage. Okay? And the arc in between here, when it arcs, it gets so hot. It breaks the material apart, and that material that it, it and the material that broke apart, it's so small. It's a nano kill, um, It's a nano scale structure. Maybe micron, but micron is too big. You want it in nano. Maybe hundred nano, three hundred nano, four hundred nano. The smaller you get it, the better it is. The more potent this shit is. All right. Now. I've seen a lot of videos. I've read a lot of articles about this. Okay, I've been researching this stuff for a while. I've seen some videos. These guys are talking about how they get red, ruby red, and sometimes red colloidal gold. At the first time I did this, I tried to get red colloidal gold. I can't. I tried. I tried, I tried. Can't. It turns out I only get only in the color it's indigo color. It looks purplish, indigo kind of color. So I thought I was making the wrong thing. Maybe my gold was wrong, maybe maybe you know my water's contaminated. But I went on the internet and I was looking around. I had one article alone, and it said that in order to get it red, you need to have additives inside. I found out what the additive is. The additive is these guys who make it red are put in hydrogen peroxide. Sounds like some nasty shit to me. Okay? So when it turns red, that's hydrogen peroxide. You don't want that shit in there. The real color is it's it's indigo. At one time, I managed to get it to not quite red, but a little bit orangish, reddish kind of color. And it took me four hours. I sat there adjusting it, adjusting it, playing with it four fucking hours, and I got it. But that's once in a while, and that right there is and if it's red is like oh shit you know it's the good stuff and it works now colloidal gold um let's look at my process a little bit right there is the water okay it's off right now i turn it on just now and you get to see it let's go back here and as i said i've been making it for three months now and some people have been drinking it. And there's this little girl. She kind of uh, slow in the head. Have, uh, I think some form of autism. She's been drinking it for two months now. Her mama says she's doing well. And she now, and you don't have to talk to her like more than like one time. She understands. She goes to potty by herself now. She plays by herself. She does all the things that a little kid would do. That's good. It tells you that it repairs your genetics. From all of this crap that, you know, the new world order is just thrown at you. The full ride and all of the bullshit in your water. You gotta stay healthy, man. You gotta get healthy. 
you know, you got to take your colloidal gold and your colloidal silver and whatever else is out there. But this is just one step, man. It's only gold. There is silver out there. There's copper. There's zinc. You know, they do different kind of stuff. But I tell you, I've been taking the colloidal silver and this gold. I've never been sick. This is... It's November, the end of November. Everybody's getting sick but me and my family. We use this and we don't get sick. So it does work. You know, I'm telling you from experience here. And now let me show you the process a little bit. This right here is the process. Okay? It's not hard. If you understand a little bit about electricity, you can do this. You can do this by yourself. You can make it, and you and your family can become very healthy. Stay away from the doctor. Drink a cup of this shit, you'll be very healthy. It repairs your genetic. That's the reason why the ancients used to use gold. Now I understand why. See this park? That is about 1800 volts at maybe one and a half amp. Because I'm not cranking it all the way up. If I crank it all the way up, that damn thing would eat my gold. It will just burn it up. You will see a big old spark. Pop! So, I adjust it up there. And you will see the spark get bigger. See that? So I bring it back like that, small spark, it gives me smaller particles. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you don't, let me know. Just email me or you know, just send me a message or whatever. And I make another video. I'll make a more detailed one with schematic and shit, but if you understand all I'm talking about, simple process, high voltage, two electrodes, spark, and you got a high voltage transformer. I'm going to make a second clip and show you, you know, the wires, the transformer, and all of that shit. But if you have any question, I'm here to help, man. You know, this is my job. I do these things for a living. I understand these things. I make machine for a living. Any machine you need, I will make it. So, it is not a hard process. Just let me know. Hope you enjoyed my video. Leave some comments. If you got a stupid comment, it's cool. It's welcome. All comments is good. Alright. Peace.